Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Shadows, and today I'm bringing you my top 10 reasons why Gears of War Judgment failed. The game definitely did suck, and it failed miserably. And compared to its previous successor, Gears of War 3, it definitely let down every Gears of War fan, including myself, and probably all of you guys who are watching this video. So out of all the reasons why Gears of War Judgment failed, I think I've picked the best 10, and hopefully you guys agree with me. So number 1 is no locust in multiplayer. Number 2 is no dumb and out controls changes and just the all the unique features being changed it's a complete different game number three was the lack of content eg maps and characters number four is marcus and dom not being the main characters for the game's campaign number five is lack of original game types number six is no cliffy b no rod ferguson number seven is epic games employees leaving during the project and number eight is Karen Travis not behind the writing of the campaign for Gears Judgment? Number 9 is too close to Gears of War 3's release, and so it was known to be a rushed game. And number 10, finishing off all the reasons, is lack of advertisement. So just going to quickly talk over a few of them reasons. Not having Locust in the multiplayer was a massive, massive mistake on Epic Games' behalf, as it changed up the traditional Gears of War multiplayer and made a lot of people angry. Not having down but out also falls into the same category, also changing the controls falls into the same category. Lack of content, which means maps and characters. The game didn't have the maps and characters to feel like it was a completed game. And so having only four maps was a massive, massive mistake on Epic Games' behalf because every other Gears of War game has had ten maps. And this game had four, and so the game got very boring very easily and a lot of people, that's why they traded it back in. Also, where was all the characters? It was COG versus COG, which means there should have been loads of COG characters. However, the character count was low for Gears War Judgment, and it never changed with DLC, and so this was another main reason why the game failed. Marcus and Dom not being main characters. What I mean by this is, a lot of people were probably thrown off from the game because Marcus and Dom didn't even feature in the campaign, as these are the two characters that we've grown to love over the years playing Gears of War 1 to 3. And even though it is a prequel, they should have at least put them in the campaign. And this definitely was a big throw off for a lot of people not to buy the game. Lack of original game types. What I mean by this is, the game didn't even have any of the original game types that made Gears War different. Made Gears 1 to 3 completely different from any other game with, with having unique game types. Such as our Warzone, Execution, King of the Hill, or Annex, Guardian, or Captain Leader, Submission. Horde, Wingman, it didn't offer any of these and, and it just had the usual team deathmatch domination and free fall game types which features in every game and so this is another kicker and made Gears of War Judgment fail. Having Epic Games employees leaving during the project, so Gears of War Judgment was announced in June 2012, Rod Ferguson left Epic Games August 2012, Cliffy B left, left Epic Games October 2012. Mike Cap stepped down as Epic Games president December 2012. Quindell Hoyo left left Epic Games February the 1st, 2013, a month before the release of Judgment. And Chris Wynn recently just left Epic Games on July 8th, 2013. And so all of these guys, all of these guys have been in the team at Epic Games on the creation of Gears of War since Gears One, and these were all the main guys, and they have all left, which means is was there anyone left to create the game? There was hardly any members left from the original Gears War team to create Gears Judgment and that's why it failed and that's why it ended up how it is a complete failure. Moving on, Karen Travis wasn't behind the writing of the campaign for Gears Judgment. She was the writer for the Gears War 3 campaign. She's also written her own novels which is kind of like books for Gears of War. You can go purchase them now on eBay or anywhere else. They're definitely amazing and she has a massive massive factor in why Gears of War 3's campaign is played by a lot of people even today and why when the game released it had over a hundred thousand people playing campaign because the campaign was amazing and without the mind of Karen Travis behind Gears of War Judgment's campaign and they having these new guys come in it definitely didn't feel like a good campaign and it felt rushed and it definitely didn't feel like a Karen Travis campaign which it wasn't because Karen Travis wasn't even in the works or wasn't even involved with Gears of War Judgment's campaign which leads to more Gears of War Judgment failure. It was released too close to Gears of War 3. So Gears of War 3 came out September 2011 with four map, four map packs being released over 
2012. Gears of War Judgment only had, I would say, half a year to a year of development, which means the game was completely rushed, and a lot of people knew it would be rushed, and so didn't even bother to buy it. Also, the last reason was lack of advertisement. Microsoft themselves confirmed that there weren't going to be a lot of advertisement for Gears of War Judgment because it was so close to next-gen titles. And with the Xbox One coming out later this year, Microsoft wanted to save money for advertisement for the new console. Which means Gears of War Judgment didn't get much spotlight anywhere in the world, not even on TV. And if you guys do remember the trailers for Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3, the Rendezvous trailer... Rendezvous trailer, I think it's pronounced the Mad World trailer, you guys all do probably remember them, but you probably won't remember the Gears of War Judgment trailer in say 5 years times. So that is my overall opinion guys, this is my top 10 reasons why Gears of War Judgment failed. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments section below, whether you agree or disagree with me, all opinions are appreciated and definitely welcome. This is a big topic as Gears of War Judgment may kill the series and we may never see a Gears of War game again. So my name is Shadows, hope you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you subscribe even though Gears of War is coming to an end and I won't be uploading it, if you like Gears of War, if there is ever a chance for another Gears of War, make sure you subscribe because I will be here first to cover it all and let you guys know on all the brand new information on a brand new Gears of War game if it ever gets announced, which I hope so because I'm a big Gears of War fan. But that's it, hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video.